In the past month, I went to see four theater shows and for each of these shows, I pay my ticket only 25 pounds. So let me tell you my secrets, how to find these affordable Western tickets and how you can do it too. I'm on a mission to see 52 shows this year, which means approximately one show a week. And if you know anything about theater and the West End is that sometimes theater tickets can be 250 pounds and it could turn out to be a very expensive affair or something that you just afford to yourself when there are special occasions or you really want to treat someone. But it doesn't need to be that way. And generally, I manage to find tickets most of the times in that sweet spot between 25 pounds to 40 pound tickets. Kids. And I'm going to tell you about all these four shows that I've seen over the past few weeks, where I managed to find my tickets, what kind of seats I managed to find for £25, and I'll share some tips on how you can do it too. I regularly post my theatre reviews and all things theatre in London, so please consider subscribing and help me get to my 1000 subscribers on YouTube. So the first show of the year that I went to see was Cold War at Almeida Theatre. Almeida Theatre is off Western Theatre, it's actually located located in North London, but it's well known for its good productions. And the first thing that I consider when I looked into Almeida Theatre is how big the theatre is. And this is a smaller theatre, only about 300 people capacity, which means that generally the proportions of the stage and everything is going to be a little bit smaller. So in a smaller theatre, even if you have a side seat or something like that, it's way more manageable than if you are in a bigger theatre. So that's one thing to consider. So actually for Almeida Theatre, I went for a restricted view seat in the stalls, which is literally next to the the mixing audiovisual booth and I paid my ticket 25 pounds. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the view from this seat just because of how compact the theatre is. It didn't really feel like I'm missing out on anything really. There was one very slim pillar in front of me but there was like a few rows down so generally my view wasn't impacted at all. There was obviously a balcony so my view was slightly boxed but it didn't really feel like anything was obstructed. Despite this being marked as restricted view seat, I think that it's a really good value for money and I would highly recommend if you are on a budget. The second show I went to see this year was Edward Scissorhands, which was actually a dance performance and it was at Sudler's Wells. Sudler's Wells is another off-western theatre and it is way bigger and more modern, so this means that just generally it's a little bit wider and there's just different distribution of seats compared to more traditional western theatres. I went for first First circle, which is kind of equivalent of maybe Royal Circle in theatres on the West End and there was another level above me. As this was also a £25 seat ticket, my row was second to last but we were nicely positioned in the middle so we could see everything perfectly and generally I really feel that this was a good value for money seat and I would highly recommend it if you're going to Sadler's Wells. The third show I went to see was on the West End and it was The Time Traveller's Wife at Apollo Theatre. And I paid my ticket £28 for a seat at the Grand Circle. The row that we were in was row D, so that means kind of like in the sweet spot in the middle. We were a little bit to the left side, but generally my view wasn't obstructed in any way. The only thing was that it was slightly higher up and maybe there were a few elements that I couldn't see if they were really high up in the left side of the stage but generally this view was perfectly fine for me and I managed to see the whole show without any issues. The fourth show that I managed to get a £25 ticket for was Tina the Tina Turner musical and this was actually in the stalls. Last row of the stalls, row U. It was in the middle so it was actually pretty good. It was marked as a restricted view see it because the royal circles is obstructing your view just in terms of the length of the stage and given that this is a production that does have certain projections happening in that part of the stage it is slightly restricted but given that you can see perfectly all of the actors and everything that happens on the stage generally I wouldn't necessarily consider this as restricted as maybe some other seats. As you can tell I really like finding a good deal and it makes going to theater even sweeter if you can go for a cheap a price. And these are my five golden rules to finding these affordable tickets. Firstly, cross-reference across different third-party providers because sometimes they have better deals on 
one than on the other. And you should just like look out for the best price that you can find. This normally works if it's a play that you're seeing closer to date rather than necessarily too much in advance. But some providers have sales throughout particular periods of the year, such as either Black Friday or London Theatre Week. So just try and spot those. Once you have a few seats in mind or you're just debating if you should go for balcony, row A or maybe royal circle, but like all the way at the back, the best thing that you can do is to check your seat view on seat plan. This is especially important if you're going for restricted view seats because sometimes there actually is a massive pillar in front of you and you can't see anything and it is best to avoid those kind of seats because honestly they're not worth it. But sometimes you have a smaller pillar or sometimes as mentioned the view is marked as restricted because the upper part of the stage is cut off and nothing is really happening there. I highly recommend you to go and check out your seat view on seat plan and definitely shop around and see if there are maybe seats for the same price but in a different part of the theatre and then given what this, the seat view looks like then you can make a decision on which seat is better. If you are based in London then definitely sign in up for rush tickets and lottery tickets is something that you should check out. You can do this via today ticks and this means that you can sign up for a number of performances on a weekly basis or sometimes even on a daily basis and then you will be informed if you're selected for this cheaper ticket. This means that you need to be flexible but these tickets are normally 20 to 30 pounds and these are some really good seats so I think it's totally worth trying especially if you have a particular show in mind or the show is sold out or you just kind of can't afford the full price of the ticket it's totally worth playing because there's nothing to lose. Flexibility plays an important part because if you are based in London and you want to see a show on the day you can definitely find good deals for lower prices but also if you're planning to come to London and book a ticket far far in advance then you're also very likely to have way better chances of securing a good deal so yeah if you can be flexible in terms of the date or time or even sometimes go for the matinee performance this is the way to go and find those cheaper tickets my fifth tip is to try and go to theater on your own I have done a whole video talking about that and why I love going to theater on my own but generally when it comes to finding affordable tickets a lot of the times there's one seat left in between groups of tickets that have been booked and these seats are normally discounted and you can find a really good deal for that and also just like allows you to be more flexible because you know when you can go and you don't need to accommodate other people and try to find a time that works for everyone so going to theater solo is honestly one of the best things that I've discovered over the past few years. I hope I convinced you that theater can be affordable only if you know how to find those cheap tickets but I'm talking about that in this video so I recommend you check out if on the lookout for cheap tickets on the West End.